Ja. Så det är thrift shop, thrift shop. Turned up trumps again the other day. Um, Western books, cowboy books. Uh, generally, Western books in the UK don't tend to last long in the thrift shops. And you don't really tend to get them in quantity in thrift shops unless an older person dies and there's a house clearance. Because by and large, cowboy, Western books, very, very popular in the UK. Surprised the other day, I went to the local thrift shop and I found 10 of these. This is the old classics of the Old West by Time Life books, produced in about 1983, 84-ish. Um, what they are, once you get through the covers, the complete facsimile reprints of either historical books or um, fictional novels of the Old West. The series ran to 31 different books and you could buy two versions of it. You could either get the, the normal production version, which had fake leather covers, and that was it. Or you could buy the deluxe version, which this one is, where you had genuine leather covers. For that, you've got real genuine leather covers, and you've got gold blocked details to the front. And you've got this really nice steer horn or buffalo horn in raised detail on the front. Detail on the spine all in gold blocked. And also you've got this really nice gold edging to the pages all the way around. And each book has its own little individual fabric bookmark. That's the deluxe edition. And I've got 10 copies of books from the series. Um, originally, they kind of retail at maybe 10 to 15 pound a piece. Um, in general, a lot of 10 is about 60 pound, 120 dollars. I got 10 the other day for the princely sum of one pound each, two dollars a piece. Absolute bargain, really pleased with them. Because as I say, once you get through the covers, they're all complete facsimile reprints. This one, The Vigilantes of Montana by Professor Thomas J. Dinsdale was first produced in 1866. So once you get through the covers, the complete facsimile reprints of the original period items. So I'll undo the camera and we'll have a look at some examples of them. So all of these purchased for a pound each. There's The Life and Adventures of Frank Gruard, The Vigilantes of Montana, A Texas Cowboy, The Authentic Life of Billy the Kid, Life in the Far West, On the Border with Crook, Mountains and Molehills, The Adventures of Bigfoot Wallace, El Dorado, and The Romance of the Colorado River. So the covers, as you can see, oops, the covers are all this nicely grained proper leather, that's how much I paid for them, a pound each. You've got gold block lettering down here. You've got the classics of the Old West title and this really nice raised embossed detail. On the spine you have classics of the Old West, Time Life books. And again the back is grained leather and the edges are all this really nice gold edging all the way around. And when we get inside you've got this really nice marble defect mottled effect and once you get through the first couple of pages it's a complete facsimile reprint so that's the romance of the colorado river 1902 again all the way through exact facsimile so that's one then we have el dorado volume two presumably in the th in the 31 volume set there's obviously a volume one somewhere but by and large, I've never seen a full set of 31 volumes. Usually, people just get the first 10. So this must have been the first series of 10. And again, you've got, look at all the dust and crap on that. So that's been in storage somewhere for a very, very long time. So it's obviously come out of an older person's storage. That's just dust, household dust collected on the top. But again, El Dorado, Volume 2. Once you get through the first couple of pages... Again, that's a facsimile of the 1850 edition. Again. So we got another one. The Adventures of Bigfoot Wallace by John C. Duval. 
again you get through the first few pages and it's a facsimile of the 1871 edition really nice books mountains and more hills by Frank Marriott and you get through it it's a facsimile of the 1855 edition you got the really nice gold edges. Then we have On the Border with Crook by John G. Burke. Facsimile of the 1891 edition. Then Life in the Far West by George Frederick Rushton, Ruxton, sorry. This one is in Roman numerals, 1849. So it's a facsimile of the 1849 edition. Then we have The Authentic Life of Billy the Kid by Pat Garrett. And this one is a facsimile of the 18... 82 edition Really nice quality books Then a Texas Cowboy by Charles A. Seringo This one is eighteen eighty five a Texas cowboy or 15 years on the hurricane deck of a Spanish pony, taken from real life. 1885. And then, The Vigilantes of Montana by Professor Thomas J. Dimsdale. <coughs> so with each book, when it was new, <coughs> you would have got kind of a library bookmark to put into it. And a descriptive piece of paper that tells you what about it. This leather bound volume, like every book in Classics of the Old West, has been photographically reproduced from the first edition and thus preserved the historical authenticity of the original, including typographical errors and printing irregularities. And this one is a facsimile of the 1866 edition, The Vigilantes of Montana. This one, again, look at all the dust and grime in that. The Life and Adventures of Frank Gruard by Joe de Bath. This one is a facsimile of the 1894 first edition. As you can see, completely. So there are some quite nice books there, and all for a pound each, I couldn't believe it. They were all in one heap, in the thrift shop, and I thought, yep, I'll have them. So that's the deluxe leather bound editions of Classics of the Old West, by Time Life Books, produced in the early 1980s. Total run of 31 different books, this is 10. Really nice set, a pound a piece, two dollars a piece. So thrift stores... Bargain books are there to be found.